All right, you guys, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your mid-February reading. Let's see what wants to come through for you. Feel free to swap around the energies. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. My goal with all of my readings and everything I put on this channel is about helping you understand your own intuition. So if something resonates for you, that's your intuition. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> In Pathfinders, uh, all of 2024, we are doing lessons uh, about intuition. This week, it's going to be about fear versus intuition, how to tell the difference. If you want to jump on a Pathfinders, this is a really good time to do it. It's my weekly group that meets every Wednesdays and you get the recording that evening. All right. So there's a link below if you want to jump on. It's a good time to because the cost goes up in March. And if you're already on board, you're all set. All right. So link is below for that. I'm also doing a class on soul contracts this week, how to work with them and how to move through them, how to release soul contracts. Ugh, I wish I had known this 10 years ago. Okay. There's a link below if you want to join. All right. Talisman. Ooh, Stormy. Wow. Good fortune. Well, Scorpio, you might know that one of your, one of your biggest gifts is being able to take risks. And if you feel like that's not been true for you in your life, um, it's coming. Okay. I feel like there's going to be a time when you're going to be asked to take a risk and it's going to work out famously. It's not going to look very nice when it's happening. Okay, so you might be presented right now with a challenging um, situation. And if you're trying to decide between the safe choice and the choice you actually want to go for, I want you to do the thing you actually go for, you actually want to go for. There's something here about taking that leap of faith. All right. I'm going to advise you, of course, you do, you do you, but I'm just saying like that seems um, like the key to your happiness, the key to your good fortune. Um, I can't believe there's a Scorpio out there that takes the safe route. route. Um, but you're always tied with Taurus and as your opposite sign. And so sometimes Scorpios can fall back into Taurus energy uh, when they're challenged. And challenge is a good thing. I feel like you're stepping up into some kind of really amazing opportunity here or you have the opportunity to step up all right so oh yeah oh yeah what the heck is going on scorpio tower first out of the gate five of wands fool yeah some of you are needing to start that business three of pentacles ten of wands nine of pentacles two of cups and some of you are needing to start this business I feel like you're dealing, uh, it's possible that you're dealing with a job or a career that is constantly blowing up. There's constant problems. Um, and I think you're, you're getting this like, oh, okay, I see. It's just going to get worse. This 10 of, 10 of wands, it's just going to get worse because my job has been to like put out fires. Okay. And now you're on fire. <laughs> So this is about nine of pentacles, having the self-confidence to take this leap of faith and three of pentacles, go towards building something for yourself. I feel like this two of cups is you could have a partner. Okay. Because I see that in this five of wands, you see they're fighting the dragon. This is the year of the green wood dragon. So it's almost like you have a partner somebody who's going to help you with this or somebody who is going to be a good partner for you. But it's, it's time to take a risk. All right. It's time to take a risk. So let's keep going here. Um, what's going on here? We, okay. Um, who is this partner? Because this does, I feel like you know who they are. Somebody that, I mean, I feel like you have this sense of like, no, 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 I need to do this on my own. And nine of pentacles. And I think you, um, are building the self-confidence to do that, but I think it's going to end up being, you need a partner or something like that. Right? So here you are, the knight of wands. I'm going to lay this out and then I'll talk you through it. Situation is the six of pentacles. 
Opportunity. King of Pentacles. Nice. Hierophant. Magician. Wow. Okay. Six of Cups for the near future. Five of Pentacles. Recent past. Eight of Cups. I don't know, but... I feel like you have, if you're having some kind of intuitive sense that you need to get out of a job or get out of a place or get out of something, you're right. I'm here to validate you, okay? Um, the King of Swords, Hopes and Fears, and then the outcome is this Devil card. So let's see, one, two, and all right, we're getting, oh, cool, look at that. Okay, um, I feel like you're dealing with a Capricorn as a partner. Capricorn or a Taurus. I feel like the universe is sending a Capricorn or a Taurus to you. Okay. So you're showing up as this Knight of Wands, very creative energy, lots of, lots of fire and spark and, and curiosity and interest and everything like that. You're going to need some help with the money. Okay. You're going to need some help with the money. I feel like you might go to somebody, um, and the opportunity is for you to really get wealthy by doing this. The recent past five of pentacles, I, I, I think you've been raked over the coals by some situation in your life, maybe a divorce or something like that. And this seems, this might seem a little crazy to you that like, really, uh, I don't have, you know, I don't have anything. And it's sort of like, I want to say this to you in all, in all seriousness, if you don't have anything, then what have you got to lose? Okay. And I want you just to think about that because I do feel like there's a person or a potential partner, a potential partner who can anchor this idea. There is somebody who, uh, is this Hierophant up here? This is somebody, uh, this is what the universe is sending you. The devil card and the Hierophant card. So Hierophant is Taurus. The uh, devil card is Capricorn and it's just like, they're going to anchor you. They're going to anchor you in this new beginning. Um, I also, I'm, I also want to say this to you that <clears throat> tower five of pentacles, especially if you have just gone through something and you feel like you're settling Scorpio. If you feel like you're settling for something, I'm going to say, no, that's not the energy that we're talking about. I'm talking about going for the gold, going for the big, all the downs. Okay. I'm talking about really doing what you want to do because it may look stormy right now, but there's good fortune ahead. And the key to this is not to, not to, um, settle or go for something too small. So some of you may have, I mean, this may be a love relationship. This feels a lot more like your path, your work, what you're here to do. And, you know, I just feel like you might've settled in the past. All right. You might've settled in the past, or if you're in a job, that's like, eh, it's okay. Um, but you feel your spidey senses are telling you that this is not all there is. It's time to move because there's something go else going on in your life that's moving as well. So you might be leaving a relationship, starting a new relate, like lots of things are in flux. Okay. Lots of things are moving and you've just walked away from something or you're about to. All right. So we'll clarify that. And good thing, 10 of swords. I just feel like you're kind of ducking a, a bullet here by doing something you think is a little crazy. And I don't, I don't, I'm not advocating you doing anything foolish, but what I am advocating is for you to pay attention to your own intuition when it says, Hey, this is something that I've always wanted to do. How do I get to do it? Ask for help. Ask your guides for help. Um, bring people across my path who can help fund this. Tell me where I'm supposed to go to get information about this. 
you know, this is real. That's really what manifesting is. You're not just going, oh, I wish I had my own business. And then I'm going to scroll through Twitter for three hours. Like that's not what, what it is. What real manifesting is, is you're saying, okay, this is what I want. I want to be my own boss or I want to have my own business. How do I do that universe? Bring the people, bring the resources, bring everything necessary for me. Help me be aware of what it is. The key is to pay attention. Okay, so the other day, um, was it Pathfinders? I think we were talking about intuition last week. And I was telling a story about when I was first um, really working with my own intuition in a very uh, purposeful way. This is right around the time I started this channel. And I wanted to know if dating a particular person was for my best and highest good. That's exactly how I put it, for my best and highest good. And it was August. And I said, okay, guides, show me a blue umbrella. If this person, if going toward this person, which admittedly at the time was a little bit outrageous, it was a little bit off my, um, out of my comfort zone, not off, but out of my comfort zone. And I wasn't sure this person had any feelings for me. I wasn't sure, but I was definitely getting this sense of like spending more time with this person and other stuff that there was something else going on here. And so I asked for the sign and if, you know, pursuing my intuition was a good idea. And of course it is. Okay. Regardless of what happens, it is, if you get intuitive hits and you move toward them, you're going to learn. Okay. We're not labeling it as good or bad, but you're going to learn. So I did. So I, I, uh, I said, show me a blue umbrella. So it's August. It's like bright, sunny skies. I'm thinking about a blue, like a blue rain umbrella. And I walked into this store that I used to go every once in a while. And I looked up on the wall and there was a wall full of blue beach umbrellas. It was August. And I was like, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I just was like, ha 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 spirit. Like you're not bringing me a rain umbrella on an August day, which is why I asked for that sign. But does it matter that it showed up as a beach umbrella? It's still a blue umbrella. So I was like, there it is. So there's something here about following your intuition. Um, there is a push. I feel like the tower and this 10 of swords, there's a push for you to do this. Okay. There's some kind of push happening. All right. Let me start to clarify here. There's a push happening. Talk to me about the tower. Let's clarify the tower. Sun. Two of cups. Again, two of cups. Judgment and the strength card. So let me just say this to you. This may be a little bit, I feel like some of you, I feel like I'm talking to some, to somebody who has walked away from a commitment. Okay. That you lost a lot of money or something like that. And it's possible that some of you are, dealing in the future with a Capricorn or with somebody who may be the same kind of lesson. And the universe is urging you to take a different road. Okay. The universe is urging you to take a different road. And I feel like this, this person could be a Leo, a Leo or a Sagittarius, a fire sign. I'm seeing, okay. So we got the you might have had the experience of being in relationship with a Taurus or a Capricorn. Like I said in the beginning of this reading, right away I was like, this person could anchor you and la 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 la. But now with a clarification like this, I'm feeling that water signs are jumping into fire signs or becoming more compatible with fire signs, especially you who are willing to take a risk. Any water signs that are willing to take a risk, I feel like are going to be rewarded. Okay. Instead of kind of walking the same path, being attracted to the same kind of person that you had been in the past or same kind of opportunity. Now something coming back from the past six of cups in the recent future, in the near future and the, Cap the Capricorn energy there. Um, your job is to have better, uh, sight. 
So some of you need to take a risk in terms of your work. Um, some of you need to take a risk in terms of who you're going to date in the midst of some kind of challenge. You're getting a tower and I feel like that has to do with maybe that you're going toward the same person that you always have been. You're going toward that, uh, that your type, you're going towards your type and the universe is saying, no, 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 you're looking for a Leo or you're looking for somebody uh, who's more romantic. You're not looking for someone who's so practical. And I feel like, honestly, like it's going to bring in a lot of wealth, a lot of money, a lot of fortune, a lot of power in your business, a lot of whatever this is, you, it's like you look at Taurus and Capricorn as if they're the key to your future. And I'm here to tell you that they're absolutely not, they are the opposite of that. So the universe is, is likely, if you're going to go toward the same type of person, is going to give you a tower, okay? Not letting you do that again. We're not doing that again, all right? We're stepping into something new. Some of you, you're not taking that same job again. Not doing it, okay? You're not doing it. So I like that. And I feel like, ironically enough, it's like, it's almost like counterintuitive. It's like, if you think that going toward, it's almost, maybe it's like your lizard brain, right? It's like, you don't know that you keep doing this over and over again, but I want you to look at your patterns, okay? I want you to look at your patterns. Who have you been attracted to in the past? What has happened with them? What is the pattern that you're trying to be blasted out of? The universe is trying to blast you out of a pattern before you go through this again, okay? Ten of swords, before you go through it again. Some of you, it's a business thing. Like you keep taking the same job over and over again. Out of the frying pan into the fire, right? Nine of swords, tower again. Wow, ace of swords, knight of pentacles. So I also want to say to you that a friend of mine told me about, told me a story about a, um, uh, I'm sorry, totally messing this up. Uh, an intervention her friends staged. And I was so curious about this because the story came out of nowhere. And she just told me the story about how her friends were very worried about her and, you know, took her to lunch, said someone was going to be there that she wanted to see. And that person wasn't there. Um, it wasn't a romantic thing. It was just a, a friend that had come in from out of town and they were totally lying about this. At any rate, they really wanted her at this lunch and they said, we're worried about you. We think you're miserable and we think you keep doing the same thing over and over again. And it was like during this lunch, they had to like blow their cover. Okay. So the, t the tower, it's like they had to say the thing they were super worried. And maybe you're feeling worried about your own path right now. Her friends were super worried that she was going to do the same thing over and over again and take another job that was like this job that she didn't want. And so she was a little mad about the, of course, most people are mad about being in, getting an intervention. But um, during the course of the conversation, she blurted out that she hated this kind of work. And like, she looked, she was like, oh, I've never admitted that to myself before. And now I've admitted it in front of all of you. And it gave her permission to seek out the type of work she wanted to do, which is put, you know, this is a healthy thing to do. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. This is a healing type of thing. Like, oh, I always seek out these kind of guys who are, loud and flashy and funny and, and all of these things. But really I'm looking for this. I'm looking for something different. Um, or I always seek out these type of women who are fill in the blank, but I'm really looking for something that's different. And I think some of you might have gone down a road with your career and it's been a long time. I feel like this has been, you know, at least 10 years of a career and you're just like, no, I remember being in marketing for a long time and really just so pining away for the creative department and not being in client services. I was good at client services, 
but I really wanted to be in the creative department and I just never thought I would, I was good enough for it. I never thought I was talented enough for it. Uh, same thing with television. I pined away to be on air, but I never did it because I thought I wasn't gonna be any good at it. Like who the hell am I to say? And that's what this, um, that's what this is about, about the self-confidence to go for what you want. Okay. The self-confidence to actually go for the person instead of settling, no more settling Scorpio. And I don't think you're going to be able to, <laughs> I think you're going to be, I think you're going to get a couple of towers. If you start settling, if you settle for a job or settle for a relationship that isn't what where you're going. Okay. So where are you going? Let's look at that. Where are you going? Six of cups, ace of cups. All right. This is relevant. Okay. Because there's somebody coming back from the past who is going, it's going to feel comfortable. Do you hear me? Like this Comfortable should be a four letter word because this is about settling. All right. I feel like there's a person coming back from the past who broke your heart at one point and they're offering you something new. Is this right for you or is this not right for you? Six of swords. All right. This is, I want to be in a relationship. I, I don't want to be, I'm, I'm afraid of being alone or something like that. Knight of wands. King of Swords and the Four of Swords. This is a pattern that needs to be healed. You may get a job offer that is the same as what you've been doing. And all this time, you're wanting to do something new or you wanted to start your own business. All right, I'm getting that. You're gonna need to take this risk right now, okay? So what don't you see coming? I mean, we got Tower here a couple times. The Queen of Wands jumps out. What don't you see coming? Knight of Cups. Page of Wands. There's that King of Pentacles again. The Chariot. And the Page of Cups. Uh, I feel like what you don't see coming. Now, this is interesting because I feel that I'm almost feeling King and Queen of Pentacles here. The person that the person that is not the type that is not your pattern is the one ironically enough who is king of pentacles so somebody who is fiery and interesting and passionate they're going to start out looking like this queen of wands and they're going to make some kind of offer to you and the page of wands they're going to you know they're going to make some kind of, i feel like because they're not your type or because this is not your normal job offer you being the king of swords here, where am I going here? You being the king of swords, asking a lot of questions, not giving your heart right away. Um, this can even be a pattern of not jumping into bed right away with somebody or not uh, having it be friends at first or something like that. There's a pattern here that needs to be broken. And I feel like it requires you to take a risk. I also feel like there's a person who's coming, this King of Pentacles. They might have children, but at any rate, there, this person is coming and I feel like you're going to have this opportunity for this person. If you have taken a risk, if you have gone in the direction of a new energy, new energy is the thing that's going to bring this new opportunity in, not the old patterns, not the old ways of doing things. So if you're getting an offer for a job that's the same old, same old, and it's not what you really want, then that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about going towards something that makes your heart sing. Okay, so actions and advice for you. There's your card, death. New path. Death and the fool. Go toward the new path. Ace of Wands. New beginnings. Nine of Pentacles. And the Hermit. Some of you are being asked to follow now a spiritual path. Some of you might have been 
very focused on money or something like that in the past or not money, but like your uh, physical life. Some of you may have been very focused on that. And that's why we're getting so many pentacles here with that, um, the Taurus and the Capricorn, very physical experience. Some of you may have been totally absorbed in your life as a, you know, as a human being on this planet. But now I almost feel like this shift into this new path is going to open you up spiritually. All right. Is going to open you up spiritually. What is the net? What are the next 30 days like? Queen of Pentacles. There's that devil card again. Four of Pentacles. Oh, man. Five of Swords. You're going to get it in the face here. Eight of Cups. Um, you're going to get in the next 30 days an old pattern that's going to come around from the past or someone from the past or a job offer from the past or something very much like your past has been. And your job is going to be to walk away. Wow. Very, very plain, very clear here. And ironically enough, that King of Pentacles will be part of the new beginning. I almost feel like that's you. I almost feel like you morph from this King of Pen from this Nine of Pentacles into the King of Pentacles yourself. Like you're able to create something yourself. I like that a lot. Messages to you from spirit. Ace of Pentacles, Empress, Two of Swords, keep it to yourself. Three of Pentacles. If you've got some ideas, keep them to yourself. All right. Don't go blabbing them around or telling people it'll like, you'll like lose the energy of the idea. All right. Wheel of Fortune. Time, the time is coming. The crossroads is coming in March, in March. I feel like this uh, Three of Pentacles, I feel like this opportunity is coming in March. Okay, so I know this is for the end of February. And I feel like for the next two weeks, you're going to have to prepare or you might see this coming. Or you might have a stormy situation. What is that stormy thing about? Three of Wands. It's coming. Ten of Wands. Yeah. Six of wands and the emperor. Okay. So, um, I feel like you've got a chance here to really step into your own leadership. The 10 of wands is coming, the burnout or the, the, I got to get out of here feeling, um, or, you know, the love relationship is starting to heat up and it's an old pattern. Whatever you're doing that's an old pattern is going to require you to make a move in March. Okay. How is this turning out? Temperance, your buddy, your Sagittarian buddy. I see you a lot with Sag. I don't know why. Maybe there's, a, maybe that's the person. That's the Aries Leo Sag is your new person. Six of Pentacles or your partner or something like that. There's the money. Seven of wands, finally standing up for yourself. Nine of wands. When you're seeing the patterns, seeing things from a new angle, from a new position, absolutely. Oh, seeing things from a new position, you become your own anchor. Remember I said about Taurus and Capricorn, you don't need that external person. You're becoming your own anchor. When you take a risk, when you move in the direction that is your true heart's desire, Archangel Michael's helping you out here. Ten of Swords, High Priestess, Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. I feel like you know this to be true when this Ten of Swords happens. Some kind of betrayal or some kind of ending is looming. Some kind of ending is looming. This is Magician. This is Gemini. I, I feel like you're going to be told. It could be coming through your intuition. Your spidey senses are telling you that someone's going to break it off or the job's going to end or the clients clients are going to can the agency or something. You're, you have a spidey sense about this, and I think you should trust it, Scorpio. You have a really good spidey sense. Okay, you got to take a risk and you got to move in a direction of your heart. All right.
that's for you. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.